Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I want to show you how you can load a random level in your Unity game. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to this channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the idea of having a random level loader relies on the fact that you have levels to load. So I'm going to use four different scenes representing four different levels. They are all the same in terms of what's in them, but they all look a little bit different. So we can distinguish that a different scene has loaded or a different level has loaded, as we should say. So you need to keep in mind that each scene does need to be represented inside the build settings here. But what I'm going to do first is create a new scene and I'm just going to save as just so we actually have a scene to show. And I'm going to save it in the same place as all those scenes and we'll do load. So you could imagine this being like your main menu or something. All I'm going to do is I'm going to have a button in here that when we click, it will load one of those random levels. So it's up to you if you want to do the same, if this is like your start or your play button or whatever, then it will be the same process. So in order to get this working, we need to write a C sharp script. So right click, create C sharp script and load random level. Obviously it can be called whatever you want. So let's open it up in Visual Studio. Now it's gonna be a lot simpler than you would think. We just need to use the namespace for the scene management. So at the top, let's start with using unity engine.scene management. Next, what we need to do is we need to declare a couple of variables or rather Probably just one actually now I think about it. So let's have public int and basically we're going to randomize a number between one and four. So in this case, our scenes are going to be scene zero for this scene that we're in now, one, two, three, and four in those build settings. So our range is going to be between one and four. Obviously, if your scenes uh, that you want to load is say scene nine to 16, then your range here would obviously be nine to 16. So it's going to be public int and we'll call it level generate semicolon and I'm going to get rid of void start and void update simply because we're doing this via a button. If you wanted to kind of just have a scene that you would load and then load a random level, obviously you would do all this within the start method. So we'll have this one called public void load the level open close bracket open curly bracket and the genius to this is simply going level generate equals random dot range and in brackets one comma five now i've explained this many many times before when generating a random range using the integers here it will never generate that maximum number so you always need to have that maximum number there as one above what you would want your maximum to be. I want my maximum to be four, therefore I'm putting five here because it will never generate five. So we'll always do one to four. At this point, we can go scene manager dot load scene and in brackets level generate. Close bracket, semicolon, and save. So what's happening here is we're randomizing a level one to four, and then we're loading that level one to four. Easy. So let's head back to Unity, and we just need to attach this script into our actual scene. So I'm just gonna randomly attach it on an empty game object. We don't need to do anything over here, that's fine, but we do need to go to File, Build Settings, Add Open Scenes. As I said, that represents zero now. So let's save that scene and we can go back through the scenes one by one just to make sure they are okay. So as I said, this one, each one has like a, a little bit of different post processing on, so we can distinguish between them all. So we just need to go add open scene then we'll do the next one. Obviously you've probably already got all your scenes added to your uh, build settings. I'm just showing you that you would need to have them there. Otherwise this whole thing won't actually work. So we have our main loader, and then we have the four scenes. And we want to load a random one each time, so let's try it out. So let's press play. 
And when it loads up, we should be able to click this and load a random level. But it won't work, will it, Jimmy? Because you've done a schoolboy error. Tell you what, guys. I can hear you screaming in the comments. I can literally hear you screaming in the comments. Jimmy, you didn't assign the script. Yeah, it normally helps, doesn't it? Obviously, it normally helps to actually get the button function. So all I've done there is click plus, uh, drag the object across that the script is on, no function, go to load random level and load the level. Obviously, we, know, we should know, hopefully, how scripts work on buttons. So now the button is active and we should be able to click it and get a random level. So we've loaded a random level four. Let's try again. And there we go. Every time we do it, we will load a random level. So whether these levels are all the playable ones that you've created, you know, the side scrolling ones or whatever, you can see it's generating a different one each time. Although it's generating four quite a lot, isn't it? There we go. So it's generating different ones. And we could theoretically see what level it was generating. We could add a little weight in there if we wanted to. But if we click this now, it doesn't do it quick enough. Uh, scene three we've loaded there. So let's try another one. But, and scene four again. It loves scene four. Really loves scene four, doesn't it? Scene two. Let's try one more. Scene one. So you can see here each time, every time I've done it, we've had a different scene there. So that is how we can load random levels in Unity. I hope that's helped, guys. I hope it's useful for your game. And I thank you very much for watching.